Prince Harry has landed in London, but don't get too excited as there will be no family reunion, even though both King Charles and Kate Middleton are battling cancer. Actually, the King has insisted on not seeing Harry at all. Is the family in another full-fledged feud? Well, this is what we know from Royal Insiders. Now, Prince Harry's newly appointed British spokesman explained what was happening between the pair, saying, In response to the many inquiries and continued speculation on whether or not the Duke will meet with his father while in the UK this week, it unfortunately will not be possible due to His Majesty's full program. The Duke, he continued, is understanding of his father's diary of commitments and various other priorities and hopes to see him soon. But really, you can't stop to say a quick hello to someone for like five minutes? It appears not. Now, the king has only seen his younger son only once since he was diagnosed with the unnamed form of cancer more than three months ago, and that meeting lasted no more than 30 minutes. Following the announcement of Charles' illness, Harry alone flew from his home in California to see his father, but he was soon heading back to the airport following one of the shortest meetings ever with the king. Now, why did Charles decide to not see his younger son this week? He doesn't need drama in his life, explained one of the king's friends. Harry and Meghan have brought him and the rest of the family nothing but worries over the past years. Frankly speaking, Harry and Meghan are a painful distraction that he could do without, another source added. Charles has been seen stepping out for the first time since his diagnosis, and he wants to work on his official business instead of focusing on the drama with his son. The king returned his public engagements last week with a visit to a cancer center, even though he has not yet completed his own treatment. And the queen gave an insight into her husband's sense of urgency when she told a guest at Buckingham Palace reception, I think he was really thrilled to be out, and she added tellingly, I've been trying to hold him back. Another reason why Charles may not have wanted to see Harry is because himself and the royal palace snubbed Archie, Harry's oldest child. It was Archie's birthday on May 6th, and while there were crickets from the royal family. But this shouldn't be too shocking. In recent years, and certainly since King Charles' reign began in September 2022, we've only seen public messages from the royal family social media accounts for working members of the royal family, such as the Prince and Princess of Wales and their children, the Duke and Duchess of Inberg, and the Princess Royal. Now, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back as senior royals in 2020, and they no longer carry out royal duties. Similarly, the palace doesn't typically share messages on the likes of Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugene, and Zara Tyndale's birthdays, nor their children's special days. Now, like Archie, Harry did not receive a public message from his family on his 39th birthday in September 2023. I don't know though, not wishing them a happy birthday kind of seems petty and unnecessary to me. It's also been rumored that Harry and Meghan have yet to make an apology to the royal family after their highly personal and very public criticisms. It's said that, in private, they continue to insist that they are the ones who deserve an apology. It said there'll be no rapprochement between the Sussexes and the royals until Harry and Meghan have said sorry for the distress that they have caused. Harry spoke very negatively about his brother William and most importantly Charles's wife Queen Camilla. He clearly was offended by these comments and wants Harry to acknowledge the hurt that he caused. But will that really happen? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Now, until Harry apologizes for that hurt, at least in private, if not public, meetings with his father might be hard to come by. Harry rarely makes trips back to England, and maybe he's come to accept the fact that he no longer has a relationship with his father anymore. Regardless, things have changed, and I don't think the royal family will ever get back to the place they were before Meghan and Harry started dating and she joined the family. 